Hello and welcome to my workshop. Today we're going to do uh, quite a large 3D carving of this American Indian head, chief's head. Um, and we're going to machine it in this beautiful Baltic pine. Um, I don't know whether this knot is going to be a little bit of a problem, but I don't think so. I think it'll be fine. So virtually we're going to turn this into this. I'll just fetch it up a bit closer to you. Uh, that knot went through at an angle like this and you can see it just on this corner. So it wasn't too much of a problem but it turned out beautiful. So I hope you enjoy uh, this fairly short video. Uh, in the machining of this uh, we'll quickly um, run through the um, roughing cut uh, and then we'll concentrate more on the finishing cut and um, I think you'll like it very much. When you order your machine, um, I do advise you to um, order the, either the radio or the corded um, pendant. Um, they're really worth their weight in gold. Um, you know, you've virtually got the computer in, in your hands here. So we'll bring the gantry up now and um, we'll set the XY0 position. I have a nice uh, pointy tool. This is a uh, six millimeter shank and it tapers down. This is uh, 45 millimeters long cutting edge and it's got a two millimeter ball end. Um, this is left over from the last job that I was uh, using this. Uh, so I'll use this just to, to um, get the XY position here. Then I'll change the tool to a 12 millimeter end mill and we'll do the, the roughing cut with that. And I'll show you the, uh, the Auto Z height uh, tool as well. Um, I, I must apologize, I'm uh, explaining in simple terms because there's a lot of first time viewers uh, out there tuning into my channel. Uh, so I like to be able to tell everybody exactly what I'm doing and uh, why I'm doing it. So I need now to bring this machine over and let Mark 3, the operating program, know exactly where this head is in relation to the table. So we'll select Y, 30% um, that'll do I think, oh, a little bit faster, 60%. And we bring it up nice and steady. And the reason I don't have my dust extractor uh, connected um, when I'm v videoing these, uh, these videos uh, is because I have a, a lot of people um, telling me that they can't, s they want to see what the cutter's doing uh, and they can't really see it clearly with the, uh, the boot on. So normal conditions I, I run obviously with the boot on, uh, but it's only while I'm uh, doing a tutorial so you can see what the cut is doing, um, so you can get a better look at what's going on. Now here's an interesting thing I'm, I'm going to be able to show you. Now, the travel on this is two, on the X, sorry. The travel on the Z axis is 200 millimeters. Um, so I know now, with the thickness of this is 45 millimeters, um, I'm going to run out of travel here. So what I'm going to have to do now is, and it's something I, I rarely show, but I will because a lot of people have asked, I am now going to have to undo this clamp and lower the motor in its fixing to, uh, to be able to achieve the depth in the material here. So low down to the to the bed. So what you can do is just crack these off. Now put your hand underneath uh, uh, with a little bit of weight up because this is about um, 
eight to ten kilos and as soon as I undo this clamp it's going to it's going to slide down through and go into this material and either damage your cutter or your hand. Okay and clamp it back up like so. Don't over tighten these because this is going into aluminium. Okay, so we'll um, back the speed right off and we'll come up in the Y. This is very, very controllable. As you can tell, very, very controllable indeed. And now we're going to go X. That's it. Now to let Mag 3 know where it is, uh, you just get the cursor and go now over the X here, up the top section here, and press the X and press the Y. Um, and now we will go and automatically Z after changing the tool. Okay, so all we do now is press cycle start. And that is not the way to do it. So it was obvious there, but I'm taking a fairly deep cut and uh, it wasn't secure enough on the table. In actual fact, I've done that deliberately to show you what can happen. Um, and indeed, what I should do is screw it directly down to the table. So we'll just lift it back off and send it back to the zero position. And we'll go into Mark 3 and say, go to zero. And there it is. So I'll just pick it off the slightly. <coughs> and I'm going to show you how to regain the zero point. So when disaster strikes like this, albeit man-made, it's not it's not the end of the world with a CNC machine because it's fairly easy to square it all back up again and start again. I'll send the tool now back to the um, zero position and we'll, we, we will recheck to see uh, how accurate that is and we will adjust it now. Now what I'm actually doing in Mark 3 is I'm just telling it to go to zero.
Okay, so there's the finished thing. I'll bring it up pretty close for you so you can see. Um, that's virtually straight off the machine. You'll, you'll see uh, in the machining, uh, you'll see that um, as I take away the, um, the uh, shavings, minute shavings, uh, you'll see uh, that what is left is virtually what this is. There's very, very little finishing to do. Um, and that's an, a, another classic example of a good machine. So I hope you've liked the machining of this American Indian's head. I'm not sure what sort of uh, American Indian this is uh, that has a, uh, an, an eagle by the looks of it on the headdress. Um, so maybe there's someone out there that can uh, enlighten me as to what type of Indian this is because I don't know. And um, if there's any distinguishing marks on here that uh, any of you know about, that would be uh, interesting comments uh, in the comment section. So, thank you for joining me for this uh, CNC 3D carving. And uh, I hope you pop in again. Uh, this channel is uh, nearly 300 videos now on wood turning, CNC routing, uh, lasers, and all the shop jobs that I do around here. So thank you for joining me and it's bye for now.